guys, welcome to the Green Steading Summit. My name is Kira from Homestead Dreaming and I am an urban homesteader in Northeast Oklahoma. And today I wanted to take you on a tour of my urban homestead. So come along as I show you the ins and outs of how everything works here in my tiny one fifth of an acre plot. As you can see, I have a plethora of garden goodies here in my front yard. I have 30 designated beds for things like cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers. I've got okra, cucamelons, and plenty more growing here in my front yard. To maximize space, we've decided to use cattle panels as arch trellises for vining fruits and vegetables. At the moment we have cucumbers climbing on this particular trellis. We'll have a wonderful fall harvest of delicious slicing cucumbers and I'm so incredibly excited for that. And as we move a little farther along, we've got a beautiful arch trellis with pole beans growing up the side. These will be a wonderful fall, fall harvest of delicious old homestead beans from Baker Creek. They are absolutely delicious and if you haven't tried them, I highly recommend them. Many people may ask, if your garden's a vegetable garden, why do you have so many flowers in the front? Well, that's a really great question. And the answer to that is, without pollinators, there's no vegetables. <laughs> so I absolutely encourage both medicinal and pollinator flowers in your vegetable garden. It brings in butterflies, bees, and all sorts of different pollinators to get you the best yield possible on your urban homestead. Here in the front, I also have 27 tomato plants. They are a combination of slicers, paste tomatoes, and cherry tomatoes. This year we decided to go with a plethora of varieties so that we could taste test them and decide which one we like the best. And next year we will only be planting our very favorite tomato plants. This year we've also done quite a few varieties of peppers. We have 24 pepper plants here in the front yard and they are a mixture of hot and sweet peppers. We're again going to try all of these peppers and decide which ones our family prefers and next year we will be focusing on those particular varieties. But this year it is really beautiful to see all the different varieties of peppers that we are getting.
one of my favorite parts of this front yard garden is our berries. We have raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and grapes, and they have been slowly but surely producing just a little taste here and there, and hopefully next year we'll get an abundance of berries for us to be able to make jams and jellies out of. Here in this bed, we've got dragon tongue bush beans. It's the first year we've grown this particular variety. Um, and as with all things in organic gardening, um, you've, got, you've got some pest action going on. You've got some pest action going on for sure. Um, but the plants themselves are doing well. And they may need a little bit of a neem spray to help them out a little bit but they're producing blossoms and soon we'll have our first little baby beans and I'm excited for this particular variety I've never tried this one um, it looked really neat and so I'm hoping that it's going to be as delicious as they are beautiful <laughs> We have also tried our hand at some fruit trees. We started with three apple trees here in our side yard and we've got this one producing a few little bit, uh, bitty apples for us. We've got a second one right behind here that isn't doing quite as well. And we also have an empty circle behind that one um, due to the fact that we had one just taken from us. Uh, <laughs> Earlier this spring, we had a, that apple tree just go missing. We're not sure what happened to it or who took it or, or why, um, but it's not there anymore. So <laughs> we've been trying to decide whether or not we want to replace it and uh, that is yet to be seen. We've also been experimenting with some grow bags. We've got um, a total of 10 at the moment and we're looking at expanding them. Being at an urban setting with a limited amount of space and a limited amount of um, area that actually gets enough sun to be able to grow things, we've been experimenting with grow bags, being able to move them around and so far we've been extremely pleased with them. And now we're moving on to our backyard, which I'm super excited to show you because, because I've got some ladies to introduce you to. So the first and most prominent thing that you would notice here in my backyard is grapes on our arch trellis. And these grapes are actually doing a whole lot better than the ones in the front. They've been ripening, they're deliciously sweet. Mmm, super sweet. Little seedy, but delicious. So, in my backyard, I've got chickens and ducks, and in the garage, I have quail. My backyard is currently under a transition. Um, during the summertime, we allow the chickens free range of the backyard. We don't plant in our garden beds that are in the back in the summertime. We only plant in the spring and in the fall um, when they are all contained. Now the reason why we contain them in the spring and the fall is because of predators. There are still predators in the summertime, though they're less prevalent in the daytime, and I do make sure that they have cover and places to ex escape from predators um, during the day in the summertime. In the fall and the spring, however, they're a little bit more prevalent. We have hawks and raccoons. We've had foxes and um, coyotes. So in the cooler weather, winter, fall, spring, 
They are confined to their chicken run and to chicken tunnels. However, they are about to go under an entire transformation. We have uh, more ladies than we've had in the past and more variety of birds than we've had in the past. So this entire, this entire area is about to go, is about to undergo an entire transformation and it'll be completely different. So. My chicken coop is built in my garage. We framed out an entire section of a bay, hardware clothed it, repurposed an old door that came with the house. Check out this really awesome doorknob. I'm so jealous of this doorknob. <laughs> that the chickens get such a pretty one. And they have access to their run and the yard from the window here. However, this will also be changing fairly soon. It's about time for a revamp for, of this entire situation. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really enjoyed showing you around my tiny urban homestead. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and I hope that it inspires you to do everything that you can in right where you're at. Because remember, it's the journey, not the destination.